This is your step-by-step -step guide on how to provide sensory input that you've lost to the arch of your right foot to see if PRI tests change, to see if you feel any different, to see if you feel weight shift to the left. The most frequent outcome is that people will go neutral. So if you look at the video that I did maybe a month ago, a month and a half, probably, yeah, probably yeah, month and a half, I showed how I got someone neutral simply by having them be in left stance. Left stance by itself, just sensing the weight on the left foot is not enough, generally. The person also needs to sense input underneath the arch of their right foot. Why? Because the arch of the right foot is when you're transitioning to the left. So you're transitioning from the left. So you're going from a right stance position where your pelvis is over on that right side. You got heel strike on the right side. You start to come forward. You got arch comes down as the pelvis is shifting. Now in the left AIC pattern, this is where it never does this. It just does this again. Okay. Often that's because the, you're, you're in such a pattern that your brain is so overly aware of the floor underneath the heel of your right foot or the outside of the right foot that you lose the sense of pronation. Even if the right foot looks pronated, kind of flat, because sometimes it does. And that used to throw me off quite a bit. Uh, you could interpret that a lot of different ways. You could say, well, it's, that's a, a foot that's looking for the ground. That's a brain that's trying to find that ground, but because it can't feel it, it keeps going closer and closer. Uh, so just because the foot is actually looks pronated, it's still in a supinated uh, or inverted state of mind. It may look like this, but to your brain, <clears throat> excuse me, to your brain it's kind of really like this. So you still need pronation. What you're doing is probably collapsing instead of pronating. Collapsing would be the lack of a right glute to guide pronation. Uh, pr uh, pronation would be the involvement of the right glute and this proper transfer of responsibility from the right adductor and hamstring to the right glute to uh, kick in these externally rotating fibers of the right glute muscle to push you to the left. That's why you need that right arch and a lot of people lose it. And I made a bunch of videos about putting something underneath the arch of your right foot to give you pronation sense on that right side. And if you combine that with a heel on the left, 80% of people will go neutral immediately. All their tests will change. They've gone from a body that's stuck on the right side to a body that's now resting, lying down on my table, that is now able to relax and is no longer patterned to the right. Doesn't mean they're stable, doesn't mean they can hold on to this new neutrality. They might go right back, they might go to the right again. In fact, they probably will in the beginning because they're not strong enough, neurologically strong enough to hold on to left stance. So regardless, now I'm gonna show you how to create this magic sensory input. You're gonna need a foot being your right foot. This is just a model. You do not need this. You need your own foot. Yes, this may sound condescending, but I get so many questions on this uh, about sock placement, <laughs> paper towel placement, how big the paper towel should be, whether you should have sock on the art, whether you should have an insole. So I'm just going over everything. This is a model. You want your own foot. One piece of paper towel, a sock, a sneaker, preferably with a solid heel, because remember, heel, left heel, you need left heel, not underneath the foot, left heel, around the outside of the edges of the left heel. A sneaker, or both two sneakers. You can leave the insole in, that's fine. Actually, I generally do. All right, so, let's put this back in. If I can get it back in. All right, forget it. Anyway. Um, okay, you take one paper towel, don't even need the whole thing, then you're going to rip it in half. Place the other half to the side, take the half that you have, fold it into a square, make it flat, don't just shove it in, because 
If you just shove it in, it's all crinkled. It's going to annoy you. Fold it a couple times. That's all you need right there. Okay. Now you're going to put the sock on your foot. You put your sock on your foot. Just easier this way. Make it an ankle sock. Don't have a high sock because then you can't slip it in. Then you take the paper towel and right where that arch is, that's where you put it. Here's the arch, the, the medial arch of that right foot. It's cut out, there's space. So when you put your foot on the ground, it doesn't touch anything and that's the problem. Your brain doesn't sense anything there because it's just empty space. That's where you put it. You're gonna slip it inside the sock right there. Don't put it here. Don't put it like this because now it's gonna to touch the outside of your foot and your brain's gonna freak out about that and pull you to the outside. Put it on the inside. You only want awareness of the inside of the right foot from the inside of the right heel, but mainly the arch and then the big toe. So you're gonna put it right like that. You slip it inside your sock. Make it nice and flat again, so it doesn't annoy you. Make sure that sock is okay. Then you take your right foot and you put it inside your shoe. Don't let the, the paper towel slide. Keep it there. Now here you are. And that's it. That is the whole thing. That is the enchilada. That is how you give your brain sensory input to the arch of your right foot. You then put your left foot. I, I don't have a left foot model, so you're just going to have to picture this. <laughs> you put your left foot in the sneaker also, the other sneaker, not the same one. You put your right foot slightly in front of your left. Here's your left. Here's your right. You put your weight on that left leg, 80%, like 80-20. Unlock your left knee. So many people will stand there with their knee locked. I know they're compensating. That's hip flexors and lower back. Unlock the left knee. Sense the left heel. So once you sense the left heel and your body weight shifts backwards, you've probably gone neutral. Your pelvis has moved back on the left. You've probably inhibited the overactivity of the right side. But at that point, you want to sense the left heel and sense the arch of your right foot. That doesn't mean put your weight on the right foot. That means sense it. What do you mean by sense it? Sense it. I know, it doesn't make sense. You don't have to do a thing. This is neurosensory, neurological. All you have to, this is all sensory. It has nothing to do with anything else. Sense it. Sense the left heel. Sense the paper towel touching the arch of your right foot. If you do that and your weight is truly on your left leg, because a lot of people will stand on their left leg, yet their upper body is still over to the right, you got to get your head over your left leg. Not to sound like a jerk here, but this is, this is real. Uh, I just don't, I want to make sure everyone's clear on what I'm doing. And you just stand there. You just hang out and breathe. Feel heavy through your left side. Sense the arch of your right foot. Sense the heel of your left foot. Left shoulder should be lower than the right because we're all standing like this. Don't do this with your head. Keep your head straight. Look around a little bit with your eyes. Maybe look to the left. Maybe tap your left molars together. See if you shift more to the left. Again, as I said, 80% of the people out there that I work with, that is how you can get them neutral. Unless there's something, unless they're PEC, patho PEC, something visual, teeth going on, or really, really neck driven, uh, this will usually work. So that's all I'm saying. Does not mean you're stable. Doesn't mean anything, except you are now neutral, probably. And you've turned, and all that means is that you've turned off the excessive right dominant pattern, it means nothing else. So don't misinterpret what I'm saying. You still have to do the techniques. You're still gonna be very confused on the techniques unless you get professional help. Uh, there are still a lot of things that you might be doing that you're not aware of. All this can do is give your brain a sense of shift to the left. And if that happens, and grounding through your left side, and if that happens, uh, you should generally be Neutral, again, I can't guarantee that, uh, but that's kind of how it works.